Hello viewers, I am your host and guide, Chris13. I would like to welcome you back to Final Fantasy VI. One thing I forgot to mention, and not an important thing, but worth mentioning nonetheless, when you're on the world map, you know, outside of a town, you've got a little map of the entire world down in the right hand corner. You can hit start to make that go away hit start to bring it back. Just letting you know. Alright, anyways, back in Kor Langdon. Huh, we can see clearly that Terra has been through here. Oh, yeah, and there's the guy that says, talks about the dude dreaming of building a coliseum. And aw, oh, poor guy, had your house burned down. Aw, oh, boo hoo hoo. And hey, wait, you know us. Rachel's house? Where, what? Rachel used to live in the house up here. And, and we knew her? What? Is this a cutscene? I failed to protect her. Look, what will be we treasure hunting for today? You'll see soon. They say that an amazing treasure is hidden in this mountain. We're going to find it. Look, look out! Rachel! Rachel, you're awake. I... I can't remember anything. Hmm, seems kind of like Terra. When Locke first met her, she couldn't remember anything. Go away! It's your fault our daughter has lost her memory. Wait! Rachel and I were going to. Go on. I don't know who you are, but ever since you've arrived, my family has been very upset. Oi! You better leave Rachel alone. She has to start her life all over again. Look, your being here is just making it harder for her. Aw, poor guy. Well, no wonder he clings on to every other girl that comes by. A year passed. When I returned, I found out that Rachel was injured during attack by the Empire while I was away. Her memory returned just before she died. The last thing she uttered before she died was my... my name. I never should have left her side. I... I failed to protect her. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting little bit into the backstory of Locke's poor love life. A poor guy. Well, at least he found the elixir he hid in here years ago. Old cook messing with concoctions? Ghosts? Huh, sounds like a house I'd like to check out. Alright, so that must be this one? Huh. Well, there's a hidden door in the back. I want to check that out in a bit, too. Oh, what's down here? Ghosts usually hide out in the basement, huh? Oh, is that you, Locke? It's been a long time. A long time! Eh? What's that? Don't you worry. 
Ooh. I'm taking good care of your little treasure for you. <laughs> yeah. You through? All done? All done? Yeah. <laughs> I used my concoctions to steal her soul from time. That's what Locke wanted. I had to use my concoctions, I did. Huh. Wait, so you're... Saying she's... Rachel. Did those medicines of yours really work? Of course, of course. This dear girl of yours will sleep like this forever, save from the death that would have claimed her otherwise. Heh heh heh. But, what if we find a way to free her soul? You think you can call her soul back somehow? Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm sure you can find some way to revive her. You'll pull it off. <laughs> uh. Uh, y yes, Locke. We, we understand. You're, 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 you're kind of emo. Remember how I said if you had Celeste in your party, you'd get an extra little scene? Well, all that really happens is... Yeah, 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 it's been like two seconds, dude. Is as they all walk out, Celeste stops at the bottom of the stairs, turns around... Dude! I didn't even leave! Stops at the bottom of the stairs, turns around, walks back over to Rachel, looks at her, and then runs up the stairs joining everyone else. Yeah, so you're not really missing much. Anyway, so yeah, so now we know why Locke has this really strong desire to protect Terra and Celeste. Um, with Terra's amnesia, he kind of, she kind of reminded him of his ex-fiance. Because you notice he said they were, they were going to, they were going to. I'm pretty sure that means they were going to get married. But yeah, so with her amnesia, it reminded her of, of uh, Rachel, and he had this desire to protect her, and the same thing with Celeste, just, you know, being injured and hurt, and, well, as beautiful as she is, who wouldn't want to protect her? And, by the way, green beret, chest, back here, hidden door, back of the house, you can give it to Shadow, doesn't really matter, he's probably gonna run away and leave me to cry, <laughs> tears, tears of sorrow. <laughs> And yes, Rachel. She she got hurt. She fell down in a cave. And you know what? We're gonna do this the easy way. And after her fall in the cave, she got amnesia. And forgot all about who everyone was, because that's what happened. So she didn't remember Locke or recognize him at all. And so, after a while, Locke decides that it's not worth hanging around, and leaves town to forget about her, move on with his life. And, well, while he's gone, the town gets attacked by the Empire, and... Rachel gets injured. And, unfortunately, just before that happens, she also gets all her memory back and remembers who Locke is and their engagement and how she was hurt and that he's left. Well, Locke hears about this and returns to town, and just as she's dying, well, he has that crazy old man freeze her in time, basically, with his weird magic. Her whatever. So, she's not really dead, but if anything happens, like if she's ever gets pulled away from that guy, she will die. And that kind of sucks. Anyways, if you want to travel to the south and you want to do it an easy way, should you have, say, traveled throughout Collingdon first and seen all those little scenes and whatever you wanted, assuming you have lock in your group, because if you don't, you don't get to see anything, then have gone up to the Colosseum, you can actually just grab a chocobo here and head to the south to make a quick trip 
to the next town, avoiding all the battles along the way. Honestly, I kind of want to get in some of these battles, but... I don't know. Uh, there could be battles to show, more enemies. I want to fight them all. But at the same time, I wanted to show off where that chocobo was hiding, and I'm pretty sure we'll fight them anyways. We'll, we'll come back. We'll be able to. And this is the town of Jidor. If Corlingdon was just a normal town of the middle class, Jidor is westernmost town on the world map. Well, that's great. You're also the richest town on the world map. This is where all those rich uncles and aunts with all the money live. You know the ones that have it all and won't lend you a dime? Yeah. This is a town full of those assholes. Auction house here, you can't really do anything with it yet. We can come back to it later. Really, there isn't much to do here. Class system here is very strict. Middle class people live in the southern part of town. The upper class citizens live in the north. Um, basically saying that, yeah, these middle class people, their quote unquote middle class people, are still, you know, higher class than most people. He's just saying that this house into the... God damn, that is a huge house. Holy. Yeah, you can come in here. There's there's nothing you can do here yet, though. Yeah, there's no point. You can check out his pictures if you want. But I, I don't feel like doing that right now. Um, the only reason to come to this town is because, well, A, it's on the way, B, they'll tell you to go to the north, and there's a very poor town to the north, and that's where they saw the streak of light hidden. Yeah, see, gathered in the north, the lower class people, so I guess that might be where Terra went. You can also swing on by the, uh, weapon shops, pick up some new weapons and items, right? You can get a... Kikuchi Monji for uh, Cyan here, some Kaiser Knuckles for Sabin. No real reason to pick up the Kaiser Knuckles, unnecessary, because, well, his, his physical's not that strong, and right now he's not in our group. And if he was in our party, I would buy some, but he's not, so maybe I'll pick some up when he is in our party. I don't want to just spend money and then, you know, get to another town where there's better weapons without ever having him in my group to equip him, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, these... You all... You remember the Dark Matter. We've got that before. Um, the Katon, Suiton, and Raijin um, are the same. You throw them, and they either deal fire damage, water damage, or lightning damage to all enemies. But they are ex. Expensive. Right? 500 to throw? Yeah. Ooh, boy. Um, we'll get the Kodachi for him just because we can. Yeah. Even if he leaves, we might as well have him equipped in the meantime. Once again, not that we're going to be using his physical attack. I think we've got more than enough shurikens to last us quite a while. And, uh, eh, might as well get him some armor. That's at least useful. Headband, no, don't need any of that. White dress, we don't have any females in our party. Uh, three shinobi gears, and Edgar needs a mithril plate. Yes! Alright, so let's equip up, equip up, equip up, and equip up. There we go. Alrighty. Well... From Jidur, we head to the north, to Zozo. Uh, if you want, you can rent another Chocobo. But I think we're just gonna walk. And you know what? We're gonna do that next time, because right now I'm gonna go sell off my excess items. 
and I think I'm gonna heal up because we've been taking quite a bit of damage from those darned vultures. My stupid half-live attack. I'm also gonna use this time to sort out my items and do all of that sort of stuff that really doesn't need to be shown on screen, so... Yeah, let's... we'll call that a day. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Until then.